Hey everybody, today I've got an 07 Jeep Wrangler, um, I don't know if it's a Sierra or Unlimited or Unlimited X, it's a 3.8 liter four wheel drive and the guy brought it in here for an evaporative emission code in the computer. It has a P0440 which is just a evaporative emission malfunction and it has a P0456 which is a small leak. All right. Well, they had it someplace else and the I don't know if the owner did this or it seems like they've been having this problem for a while. So let me go over to you what they've done. They tried a gas cap two gas cap, they try to gas cap off another Jeep and on this Jeep. Then they put a canister in this. Here's the canister where underneath the car. They tried the purge solenoid which is underneath the hood of the car. So I got together with my friend Todd from Todd's Garage out in the other side of Culpepper and um, he looked some stuff up and was found, found something that was really interesting that um, that I think people don't realize, I do believe this is an aftermarket canister. And this white piece here is a, it looks like it's a vent valve assembly, but they actually call this thing an ESIM, okay? And inside here, there are two weights. And there is a small weight that blocks off the vacuum and there's a large weight that blocks off pressure okay and i don't know if you can see it or not it's got a clip right here and i can take this thing and turn it all right well right now it's locked in uh todd found on some of his information that this wire connector needs to be at the three o'clock position and this needs to be at the six o'clock position well, when I first started working on this car, it was not. This was at the 12 o'clock position, and this was at the 3 o'clock position. So this little tab here was up here. So I took the tab, disconnected the wire, and I disconnected the hose. I pushed on the tab, and I turned this, and this thing came off like an oil cap. I repositioned it on the canister, and I'm hoping that this will take care of the problem on this Jeep. I'm gonna drive it tomorrow. I'm gonna to see if my scanner has a forced EVAP test that we can do on this car tomorrow. But at the moment, this makes sense because if the weights aren't in the right position, this thing's not gonna close off properly. That's why we're having the PO440, which is a evaporative system problem. Now, the 456, the small leak, it also could be because of the weights in here aren't closing the passages off properly. So, I don't know if I fix this one yet. I will find out tomorrow and I'll make another video or I'll put a um, message in the description that we fixed it or we didn't fix it. All right, everybody. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, please share, and we'll talk to you all later. Thanks a lot.